extremely excited about making this video for two reasons. One is because we are blessed with the presence of a 2022 black high country Duramax sitting right here behind me, which we're gonna talk about very, very shortly. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the new truck that I've been teasing over the last few videos, constructing this beautiful contraption behind me, which is reason number two that I'm pretty excited because really this is the first time this stage has been set in front of what will be the new building that a lot of videos in the future months, hopefully within the next month or two, are going to be made at. And it is an extremely exciting time to sit back and look at the changes taking place before our eyes. Plus my wife and little Jack are right over there hanging out next to Dream Diesel giveaway number 19 and that just makes me extremely happy as some fall feeling weather is setting in. All these little things I appreciate day in and day out. Sorry to get distracted but I like to just kind of let you guys know where my mind's at. So boys and girls before we go any further though it is your last chance to get entered for this truck and $30,000 cash if you want to lock in your 10 times entries not you have not the wife and the baby or the dogs included <laughs> Just about a day left to get entered. Mind you guys, the deadline for Dream Diesel giveaway number 19 is September 3rd at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Procrastination Nation, this is right now, at this point in time, video documented your last morning. So without further ado, this is the new truck to the channel and it feels good to have a driveway full of Duramaxes. Misfit is missing and Jake is down at the shop right now, but if they were all together in one spot in time, we would have four Duramaxes showing up here at the house, ranging from 2006 to 2015 to 2021 and now 2022. Hey bud, welcome to the vlog. He has a muddy rock in his hand. Oh, you do? Good find. Innocent merch plug. If you don't want a shirt, buy your cute baby a shirt. Yep. You're baby could get you uh, a truck. Oh, yeah, you I'm just got some. <laughs> <laughs> so Jack, what do you think of the new truck? Let everybody know. You like it, Jack? I think he's thinking that we should just put his car seat in it and make it our new you, daily driver. Are you eating the mud? Don't eat the mud. Say, God made dirt. Dirt doesn't hurt. Just the boy who loves his trucks. It's, it's almost like the apple didn't fall that far from the tree. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So it's been a minute since we've had a brandy spanking new truck on the channel. And it's 100% due to the fact that Sam down at Lime Ridge and the boys over at Lime Ridge Automotive have been doing such a good job of providing so many options of the trucks that we've been looking for that we haven't had to go new. But this time around, I wanted a very specific high country. And that was the 2022 Blacked Out Edition. So this one's pretty slick and it's only got 91 miles on it. The reason that it's just shy of 100 is because the dealership that I bought it from actually delivered it to me. They drove it to me from Sealands Grove down here just a few days ago as we were working on framing the building. I didn't want to let this thing slip away because the next closest high country to me out here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania was nearly 300 miles away and I just could not justify that. So I'm really happy that this truck popped up. It felt like it was 100% meant to be. Now this one's really cool because it's essentially all blacked out already. We've got paint match bumpers, blacked out wheels. The cab lights on these new trucks are already pretty much blacked out. We've got blacked out factory badges up front as you can see. The bow ties are all to match and the high countries are just a really slick package. Now this is the first Onyx black high country that I've owned and I really like this spec stock. They come with these bronze inlays and I geeked out about those when we had Dream Diesel giveaway number 11 but they're bronze complements here and then when you come onto the inside you see them as well. They're around the steering wheel bezel here and then they're around the infotainment bezel there. I really like that especially on a black truck that black and brown just yells classy now the next thing that excites me and probably the pinnacle moment for me as an automotive content vlogger over the last nearly five years since February 2017 that I started my channel I've been begging General Motors to do one specific thing and you would think that they'd listen to me especially because I used to work for the company right after I graduated college for nearly two years big company small ears I guess you could say they finally listened and got up with the times by adding power folding steps to their OEM offering I don't really Really realized that wasn't a hard thing to accomplish but they finally did it and this is the first truck that I own that has them and I'm really really excited about it to my earliest subscribers and OG's you guys can remember me begging General Motors to get up with the time Ford and Dodge have been offering these features for years and years and years on their 15 and on their half and three-quarter ton trucks General Motors finally got up with the times and they took it a step further which is pretty cool but not only adding the power folding steps as an OEM option but they added another really neat little feature right up along the bottom you guys can see this strip that strip actually serves as an LED ambiance convenience lighting at night so when you unlock the truck 
that whole ground area lights up. Or when you open the door or close it, same thing. Kudos to the feature. I'm surprised it took you guys five years to figure that out. But other than that, on the 2022 model year, I don't really believe they changed all that many more things. And then coming onto the inside, we've got all the gizmos and gadgets, including the Bose sound system. We've got the heated and cooled seats up front and in the rear, sliding rear window, and of course the sunroof. So these are the 2022 premium wheels they're in black they're kind of interesting they almost kind of remind me of a steely if they were silver i don't know if i'd really like them but being that they're black they kind of work it's neat to see that the high country is offered in a mostly murdered out package i think if you have a black truck all black is 100 percent the route to take plus the chrome accents on these things factory look really good already all it would need is just a little bit of stance now truthfully i haven't really had time to research it but i want you guys to drop a comment below about what you found out with the 2022s being that i'm building this building and it's occupying literally every ounce of time that i already didn't have do these things come factory level the reason that i ask that is as i sit here looking at it not only on my stone driveway but also on my paved driveway the truck sits extremely level. Most trucks kind of sit like eight ball that have a forward facing rake to account for any payload that you hook up to the rear, but it looks like this one already sits relatively level. I don't know. Drop some comments below. We're all curious. So here we are with a virgin platform pondering what is it that we're going to do. I've got ideas. As per usual, I never cease to have enough of them, but which ones do we end up pursuing? Now, if you were in my shoes, which you kind of technically are because you follow this YouTube channel, how would you contribute to this build what would you do you have a fresh platform to do whatever it is that would get you to your end goal vision what would that be comment your build ideas below i think a lot of people are going to be skimming and perusing through and probably voting up what they agree that we need to do four duramax is on the channel now and uh, i guess you could say i'm kind of compensating for that time that i only had dodges and fords i know it's kind of a little bit of a bizarre time but it's all good we love all the platforms in these parts i'd like to say that we'll leave the specialization of one specific thing to bugs they're better at that so now I got two options. It's a 2022 blacked out high country Duramax or Dream Diesel giveaway number 19. Decisions, decisions, decisions. It's a really difficult decision, but I'm leaning towards number 19 purely for the fact that I only have it for a very limited amount of time because very soon I'm gonna be handing over the keys to you. And it pains me either way to take that one or that one because they're both so clean and it's a rainy day, but we'll experience a cold start in the vlog. This 1500 tail edge just get me every single time. Don't stress though, boys and girls, we'll get this thing spick and span when you come to pick it up. We're headed down to pick up some parts that we've been anxiously and patiently waiting for from Sean at Peach Bottom Auto Body. He just finished everything up for Convict, meaning that we are very close to seeing that truck completed with its new wrap, and it's going to look completely insane. We're talking something never seen before and totally one of a kind. Boys and girls, welcome back to our second home, Peach Bottom Auto Body. It feels great to be back. I just got a first glimpse at the parts and they look insane, but I wanted to keep everybody energized down here and show a small token of my gratitude for their delivery on over 20 builds at this point in time. So Jake popped in, grabbed some food. I stopped and grabbed some coffee. We got to keep the grind alive. I was going to bring a whole bunch of grind hard coffee down, but I didn't have a nice way to brew it in mass quantities. So I figured I'd make an exception this time around. Starbucks is okay, but it's not as good as grind hard coffee by any means. I might be a little biased. It's, he might be a little biased. It's definitely not as good. It's not. <laughs> so we got the boys down here, some coffee, and we've got, what did, what did we pick up? Well, we well, got some we got donuts. Some fritters, bro. Some fritters, apple some fritters, muffins. Some muffins, and then some, some mini donut holes. That's what I like to see. And speaking of see, feast your eyes on these parts. Oh, oh my God, they turned out so, so sick.
feel like I don't even need to say how incredibly sick these parts turned out. So here we're looking at what will be the new face for Convict. It's going to truly transform this truck and I can't wait to see everything come together. Let's just start right here at the front with one of our biggest attributes to the front end of this thing. It's the grill. We've got a full chrome delete going on with our wrap to match Ford emblem. Look at how badass that color combination looks together. Carrying on to the back platinum badge. We did very similar to Sarge for Convict, except rather than green, we've got our chalk gray, not only on the platinum letters, but also on the Super Duty and the level of precision to get this to where it needed to be and to where it is right now takes a fine skill in art. And that's why none other than the boys at Peach Bottom Auto Body for all of your precision details. Carrying over to the back Ford badge, Look at how beautiful that thing is, guys. It's gorgeous. Our 450 badges for the side of the truck. The genius right here, the master, the man with the skill. Wow, look at this. Unbelievable, man, looks amazing. I love this color combination together. It just looks no, so good. I can't wait to see it. How do we pick between this or Sarge? They both had such personality. That's, I, it'll be, when, when it's all together, that's what you're gonna have to do some side-by-sides. That'd be sweet. Ooh -hoo -hoo. <laughs> so we got our blacked out emblems, blacked out mirror, marker lights here for the 450 fender flares. Fun fact, you actually can't get these in clear lights. I did go to my boys over at Recon for cab lights, so we've got all white lighting up on the front, but they unfortunately don't offer any white lighting for the rear because it's a DOT requirement for dualies because they sit so wide. Coming on to the mirrors, all fully blacked out. And then we've got our Boost Auto Parts white to amber switchbacks painted, of course. Built headlights looking incredible, very minimalistic. We deleted the amber out of the front turn signal and of course the side. So now we've got all white lens and all white lighting. Moderate tint here on the tail lights and the third brake light. Blacked out door handles, completely chrome deleted. And same goes for the 33 millimeter lug nut covers. They are now black to go along with those big old black JTX forged wheels. Guys, this stuff looks good right here, looks amazing right here, but it's gonna look even better on the truck and that's where we're headed next. Also, let's just take a minute to appreciate the Chevy brethren that are together here. Guys, if you had to pick right now, which one are you choosing? The LBZ or the LML with the L5P front end? Man, that's a difficult choice, but you guys are gonna have to drop some comments below and let us know. In true fashion, we are packed up, loaded, and ready to rock and roll back up to the shop. I just gotta say massive shout out to Sean and to the team over at Peach Bottom Auto Body. These guys are amazing. They do incredible work. I've said that before. I'm gonna say it again. It's so obvious at this point in time because I consistently have come back to them for all of my body work needs, no matter what, no matter the build, for the last three plus years or more. I think actions speak a little bit louder than words in that situation. But we're loaded up. I've got about half the parts. Jake is in the LBZ here behind me. He's got the other half of the parts. They're nice, safe, and sound and ready to go back to their owner. What do you guys think the Convict's going to look like once these parts are on? Oh, I'm so freaking pumped. For as good as this truck looks, rolling down the road, clean and looking pristine, it also performs flawlessly in downpouring conditions. They're calling for exponential flooding in our area as a result of Ida that's hitting us today. And I'll tell you what, boys, this thing cruises just like a nice dry day. And then on top of that, the Cheetah 63 and the 10 millimeter extra G pump make for an awesome driving experience. The haptics and the feedback of the LML with that added boost and fuel. It's like the perfect combination, guys, I'm telling you. It just works wonderfully. Boy, it is really freaking raining out there right now. When it rains, it pours. I am very moist. Uh. My man, I really got to get the in with the guy that has those. Yeah, I don't know him, do you? Mm, no, but it's pretty nice. Yeah, Is that the nylon one too? Yeah, the full 100%. Yeah, I'm very dry. Oh yeah, would you look at it? Is it like a ceramic coating? It just sink right off. Yeah. Not a sponsored ad by Kenzo. <laughs> So it's that moment of truth that we've all been waiting for to see this wrap truly come to fruition. I know I somewhat skimped out on you guys with the reveal of the wrap only because 
I didn't want to make it that big of a deal because the truck wasn't done. Now, you're gonna get an idea as to what this thing's actually going to look like. I'm extremely anxious to see it. I know Jake is as well because we basically talked about it on the entire drive home via phone call, so we're not gonna waste any more time. Let's get these parts back on that truck.